Okay, so let's talk about peer-reviewed literature. Many of your professors require them for research assignments. So why is this? Peer-reviewed articles are evaluated by scholars that are experts in the relevant field. They critique for quality and validity. These are not typically popular magazines. They are not typically free. As students at a college, your library provides you access to millions of peer-reviewed articles. So now that you have a working definition of what peer-reviewed articles are, you now understand why your professors may encourage you to only use peer-reviewed literature for your research assignments. So now, let's talk about how we find them inside library databases. The collection is most easily accessed by visiting polk.edu forward slash library and clicking directly on articles slash databases. The collection is vast and can be sorted alphabetically as well as by subject. For this course, I recommend you start with Academic Search Complete. It contains journals and articles from various academic disciplines and it also has great search limiters to help you efficiently find articles. When prompted to log in, use your passport credentials to get access to Academic Search Complete. Setting up an effective search is really quite simple. You generally speaking want to enter keywords, limit your results to full text, and limit your results to peer-reviewed articles only. The goal for keyword searching is to come up with a good match of keywords to find results. For example, if we were interested in researching the dangers associated with artificial intelligence, we could put in artificial intelligence and danger or artificial intelligence and risk. These are just a couple sample searches that would get you results. You can save yourself a ton of time by simply using the refine results section on the left to remove articles that don't fit your research topic. Sometimes you can do this by date, you can do this by the language the article is written in, and you can also do it by subject. Clicking the article title will bring up the publication information. This will tell you the author, the source, which is the title of the journal that the article was published in, and other relevant details. You should start by reading the abstract. This is a summary of the article. If you judge the summary to be relevant to your research, then go ahead and click on the PDF full text link to open the article. In the event that you decide to consider using the article for your research, it's a good idea to take a look at the toolbar on the right hand side to see options that can help you. If you think there's even a, ch a chance that you'll want to use the article, make sure you email it. When you do that, you can also send the citation with the article. Um, there's also a citation button for generating this citation so that you can copy and paste to your works cited pages. And then the last tool that I would mention is the permalink. That's important for if you want to revisit the URL later. Uh, make sure you use that instead of the URL that's available up top on the web browser. So now you have everything you need to find peer-reviewed articles in Academic Search Complete. If you have questions, ask a librarian.